uncompromising, you know, uh, talking. You know, I love communicating. Um, my thing is uh, communication, you know. Um, okay. All right. I got to kind of move fast with you. This is Ali, 22. What's the age range you want to date? I would say 22 to 22 to 30. 22 to 30. Does she got to be in? Where are you calling us from? Calling from Gastonia. Where? Gastonia. Where's that? <clears throat> North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay. Does she got to be in North Carolina? No. All right. And what's the age range again? 22 to 30. 22 to 30. Um, can she have kids? Select. Uh, I'm selective on that. Um, but yes, I will, I'm not going to turn that down because I feel like, you know, you could meet a beautiful person, you know. Um, I meet people every day just in the line of work. I do pest control as well. So um, just every day me dealing um, dealing with that, I have to meet people, you know, and I, I, I talk to people um, on an everyday basis. So uh, I'm, I, meet, I meet people every day, and it's, it's beautiful just to say that, you know, I meet beautiful people. So you never okay. know. Okay, speaking of beautiful people, does a woman got to look a certain way? No. Nope. Stop moving, Ali, if you can, possible. You're moving a lot. I agree. Sorry. Okay. Does a woman got to look a certain way? No. Okay. You don't care how she looks? I do. Um, definitely uh, carry herself, you know, um, in a professional way, um, respectful, and know how to dress as well. And knows how to dress. Okay. Um, do you have? Does she have to make a certain amount of money? Um, no. No. Okay. Ali, when was your last relationship? I can say a year ago. A year ago. This is Ali in North Carolina, 22. When was the last time you was intimate with a woman? Beginning of the year. In the beginning of the year? Okay. Ali, why do you think you're single? Um... Um, I I can say I'm still trying to find myself. Um, I'm still learning some things. You know, people learn things every day. So you know, um, you know, I'm taking you know um, that opportunity. You know, to grow within myself. You know, learn myself. You know, more. You know, so. Um, okay, and why would women be lucky to be with you? Um, uh, I would definitely say I'm a special person. Um, I could bring positivity to the world, love. Um, okay, we going. All right, Ali, give them your Instagram name. Nobody's Innocent. You All right, let's do it. Follow nobody's my clothing on at nobody'sinnocent.clothing. Check me okay. out. Uh, 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 Instagram only. We're not promoting businesses. N-O-B-O-D-I-E-S-I-N-N-O-C-E-N-T. Nobody's business. He's 22 in North Carolina. He'll take 22 to 30. Entrepreneur, comes from clothing, Aquarius. Bye, baby. You got it. All right, let's keep going. Let me get a female next. Um, Look now, y'all up here to find love. I'm not here to promote your, your job, all right? So if you're looking for love, Push the request. If you ain't looking for love, don't push the request. Um, let's get TT, we're coming to you. Let's get a female. TT, we're coming to you. All right, I'm actually oh hello? Hello. We can't see your face, babe. I'm coming. What you doing? Whew. Hi. Hey, oh, I wasn't expecting TT to be Caucasian. <laughs> Yeah. TT my, usually black. I never, I ain't never meet a white TT. My name is actually Tiana. <laughs> but it says TT, right? Yeah, that's my nickname. Okay, all right, listen. Listen, I, a pleasant surprise. I ain't never meet a white TT. All right? <laughs> first okay, time for girl. everything. Huh? I said there's a first time for everything. It's a first time for everything. I'm loving it. All right, yeah. T. So do I call you TT or do I call you Tiana? Either way, it's fine. All right, where you calling us from, babe? Connecticut. That's where I'm from. Yes, CT. Okay, what part of Connecticut are you from? New Britain. New Britain. I'm, I grew up in Waterbury. 
Yeah, super close. But I, but I used to go, I used to go to New Britain every summer because I went to college. I went to school during the summer times. I was in a program and it was at Central Connecticut. So I used to go to New Britain all the time. Anyways, back okay. to you, TT. So is TT in Connecticut, how old are you? 31. 31. Do you have any kids? No kids, just fur babies. Just fur babies. <laughs> When's your birthday or zodiac sign? I'm an Aries, April 10th. Aries. Okay. And what do you do for a living? I'm a psych nurse. You're a psych nurse? Mm-hmm. Ooh, child. That has to be a stressful job. It can be, but I love it. It's never a dull moment. I imagine. All right, let's do it. This is TT, honey, in Connecticut, New Britain, 31, no kids, the Aries, and is a psych nurse. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, someone who is ready for a relationship. Um, someone who's kind, funny, like sense of humor is huge for me. Um, someone just who has their shit together. <laughs> I know that's right, TT. Yeah, it's so hard to find somebody who just work, have your own car, have your own place, like have yourself together. It's so hard to find nowadays. Mm, yes, it could be. What's some deal breakers for you? Baby mama drama. Ooh. Have you dealt with that in the past? No, but I do not want to. <laughs> you said no baby mama, so can he have kids? Yes, he can have kids as long as there's no drama. Okay, no drama. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Do you have an appearance requirement? Um, not really. I prefer someone on the taller side because I'm kind of tall myself. I'm 5'7". Okay. So appearance, I kind of like like a taller guy. Um, I'm not like super picky with like, um, you know, skinny or heavy. Like, I'm kind of open to whatever. Okay. So. Now, let me ask only because, you know, my, my show is predominantly African-American, but I love that I have all type of viewers. So do you have a, a ethnicity preference? Not really. Okay. Uh, my ex of 12 years was white, and then um, I actually was engaged. My fiancé passed away in 2020, and he was African-American. So I'm either. so sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Aw. Yeah. What happened? Um, he died really suddenly from a blood clot to his lungs at 31. Oh, oh so is that what that was that your last relationship? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we are sorry to hear that. Sorry yeah. to hear that. Um, okay. Does the guy have to make a certain amount of money? No, no. Just to be able to take care of himself, because I'm financially stable myself. Okay. So, and, you know, someone who can at least, you know, take care of themselves. Okay. Now, is your, ethnic is your ethnicity Caucasian? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, this is TT in Connecticut, New Britain, 31, no kids, the Aries, the psych nurse. So was your last relationship your ex-fiance? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, you don't have to answer this question, but I'm going to ask, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? It's been a very long time. Okay, it's been a minute. All right, so TT, well, we know why you're single because unfortunately your fiance had passed away, but why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I think I'm just really like such a sweet and genuine woman. Like, I'm very supportive. I feel like I'm a ride or die. Like, so. Are you a ride or die? Okay. I'm a ride or die, yes. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I'm open, but I would say like 29 to. 45 maybe Wait, are you go to 45 does he have to be in connecticut um preferably preferably or close like one of the neighboring states like a short drive away would be fine too a short drive away okay <laughs> all right y'all let's do it this is tt in connecticut new britain to be exact 31 do you want kids um i'm open to it honestly i don't know 100 percent yeah if i met the right person i would be I okay but right now, I just have my fur babies. Okay. How many fur babies do you have? I have three. You have three. So if a guy had an issue with that, how would is, does he have an option? They're not going nowhere? No, they're not going nowhere. They were here first. Those, <laughs> are, my, those are my everything. So. <clears throat> I know that's right, girl. I had a fur baby. I had to put my fur baby down back in December. And mm -hmm. I miss her every day. So I do understand. Oh. Um they're the best. They are. Um, all right, let's keep going. She's an Aries, a psych nurse. She'll date 29 to 45. Let's give them your IG name, boo. Okay, hold on. Let me just double check. It's actually me... Nurse T22. Okay, yes. Yeah. So it's... I had to change okay. it recently. I had to so change it's it underscore... recently. So my... Okay, so it's underscore Nurse T22. Two two... Oh, 22T. Two two so it's underscore N-U-R-S-E. 
T E E two two underscore. Yes, I had to change it All recently. Right. I will for finding me. So say again. I said I had to change it recently because some of my patients were finding me. So yeah. Oh, some of your patients were finding you. What were they finding? What were they doing once they found you? Trying to accept me and message me, but. <laughs> Ooh, child, you got, for lack of better words, patients with challenges, correct? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, child. Okay, TT. Well, be careful out here in these streets, honey. Yes, I'm trying. All right. Well, uh, thank you for tuning in, and hopefully we can find you love, girl. Keep me posted thank, how it goes. Thank you. All right, bye, baby. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Let's keep going. Um, let's keep going. Happy Wednesday night. We're on YouTube after this. Make sure you guys follow the YouTube and the Facebook pages. Um, trying to get people who have never been on the show because I got so many people that want to be on the show. So this is an hour show. So I do have a two-time requirement, but first-timers only tonight since we only have an hour. Um, I got Sammy. Let's try to see this is. Okay, I got two people. Let's see who answers first. Uh Hello? 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 What are you showing us? Hello? Yeah, what's up? How you doing? ¿Cómo te llamas? <laughs> no, I'm black. Are you black? <laughs> yeah. People tell me that all the time. I look Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Where you, what's your what's name, bro? Samuel. Samuel? Samuel? Sam, Sammy. Sammy, where you calling us from? Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay, bring the phones down a little bit. Louisiana. How old are you, Sammy? Do fifty three. Fifty three. Okay, what you do for yeah. what you do for a living? I'm retired. You're retired at fifty three. You have any kids? Yeah. Nah. No kids. You never. You never wanted kids. Nah. Oh, have you ever been married? Nah. So you ain't never had kids. You never been married. You never wanted kids. Um, no. Nah. Uh, okay, Sammy. So, so my purpose of coming was to tell you about um, I see these copycats, but support you because and also tell people about like trademarking because people can still you set the table. You thought of the meal. You set the table, you cook the food, and somebody else gonna come along and eat off what you fix. So I want to talk to you about trademarking and the difference between copywriting and trademarking. Okay, well, babe, this isn't what. Well, well, this is what I will say. There's only one Kendra G. So people might try to duplicate, yeah. but at the end of the day, I'm the one that you cannot duplicate because only I can be made. Yeah. And that's what people will learn in the process. They see how successful my show is and they feel like they can do it. But no, there's an art to it. And at the end of the day, I don't give a shit what somebody else does because like I said, you can't ever duplicate who I am. But Sammy, this but, ain't the but but check but check but, but, this no, out. But, but Sammy, I, so I gotta I gotta check you. I love you and I appreciate the love you have for me, but I got a show to run. So this ain't the time to be talking about trademark and copywriting. I ain't worried about nobody else in these streets because but see, what I somebody do is what could I come do, okay somebody could come along not, and take your name but, but, but listen but if they I, could take your Sammy, name Sammy, Sammy, if i ain't worried about it you don't worry about it okay uh, okay cool. okay all right bye bye k pasa <laughs> i'm not adios, i'm black adios adios listen lady adios k pasa <laughs> Let me just talk about that real quick because everybody's going to try. And, and here's the deal. I don't got enough time to be worried about somebody trying to do what I do. The one thing you can't do is you can't be Kendra G. And everybody's going to learn that. And you can even create something similar, but guess what? You're going to create something similar and my lawyer follower is going to call you out and say you stole this idea from Kendra G and then your follower is going to start following me. So either way, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you could try to duplicate, but baby, you can't be me. And that's just the end of the story, the beginning and the period on the sentence. So let's go back to it. Oh, we got over 6,000 people, 6,000 people in the building. 
K Pasa, come back, Sammy. Sammy got us over 6,000 people in the building, child. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ooh, Zaynada. <laughs> I don't care what Sammy said. He was Latino. All right? He was Latino. <laughs> Y'all believe I don't even drink alcohol. I just be silly for no damn reason. Um... Yeah, there you have it. So, yeah, and if y'all do see somebody copying my shit, make sure y'all call them out and say, you got this from Kendra G, and she does it better. So that's y'all job. If y'all see anybody trying to be me, make sure y'all say that in the comment section so they can know y'all peeping game. I don't got enough time to be watching what other folks do. People be telling me, but shit, I don't got the energy, honey. I'm trying to live the life that I got. All right, let's keep going. Don't forget, we are on YouTube after um, this show. And I want y'all to follow the YouTube page, too. What up, Zach Bug? What up? Okay, look. Hello? 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 We can't see your face. We can't see your face, baby. Child, you ready? All we see is the ceiling. You coming or not? Child, we don't got time for this shit. We don't got time. Stop be wasting our time, y'all. Y'all be pushing the request, and then I'll be trying to get people, and this list be so long um, that y'all be trying. Let's try this person. Let's see who this is. Hold on. Somebody said what? The, uh, hello? What's up, Kendra? What's your name, baby? I'm Mark. Mark, where you calling us from? I'm in Atlanta. Thanks for uh, accepting my request. I've been trying to get on here for a minute now. Well, you finally made it, Mark. <laughs> How old are you, Mark? I'm 36. 36. What you do for a living? Well, right now, I'm a bartender. I got two jobs. I'm a bartender, um, a waiter, and I work in a warehouse. And I do okay. photography on the side. That's more than two jobs. That was like four jobs you just said. Well, bartender and waiter, that's the same job. It's the same place. I work in a warehouse. That's the second job. And I just do like freelance photography. I just graduated from Atlanta Tech um, in photography Saturday. Oh. oh, you just graduated. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How old are you, Mark? Um, 36. 36. Atlanta. Oh, you told me that. When's your yeah. birthday or zodiac sign? Um, my birthday is October 22nd. I am a Libra. You're a Libra. All right, this is Mark in Atlanta, 36, a bartender, waiter, also a photographer, is a Libra. Um, all right, Mark, who are you looking for tonight? <laughs> How you going to ask me a question like that? Usually when guys come over here, you just be like, so what type of woman you looking for? Well, I ain't going to ask you that, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I mean, shit, I'm I'm looking for a female tonight. Tonight, okay. Tonight. So, do you go both ways? Yeah, I'm bisexual. Okay, you're bisexual. So, what gender did you date last? Uh, well, I've never really been in a relationship, but my last encounter with someone was a male. Okay, you you never you never had a relationship. Yeah, just like a high school relationship. That's it. Never a uh, serious adult relationship. So you're 36. Why do you feel like you never had a serious relationship? Um, I guess because I am like, I don't know. I guess I would say like I'm kind of torn between the two. And it's hard to like make up my mind when it comes to like being in a serious relationship. I have a guard up and I don't completely feel like I'm ready for a relationship and I just did a lot of playing around. Okay. So now you want to, so you dated a man last, but now you want to focus on a woman. Yeah, I definitely want to focus on a female. I want to give myself opportunity to see what that could be like in a serious relationship. Okay. Have you ever been intimate with a female? Yes. Okay. So what kind of female are you looking for? So I'm looking for um, somebody who's uh, mixed, 
um, preferably Puerto Rican or Dominican, something like that. I kind of want to mix up my bloodline a little bit. I'm interested. I guess with saying that, I guess I already answered your question. Like, I'm interested in having kids. Um, I like petite women. Um, I don't really care about, like, like booty and stuff like that. I'm a breast guy, so... <laughs> So, like, I'm looking for a female that got, like, a nice little chest or whatever or something like that. She got to be, like, pretty. Um, I'm definitely, like, a sucker for women with long hair. So, if you got can long it be hair. Fake? Can it be fake or it got to be her real long hair? Um, I would prefer it to be real. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, what's some deal breakers for you then, Mark? Um... I would probably say women that uh, smoke weed. Um, I just recently decided to go sober, so I really don't want that to, like, be around me. Um, she definitely got to be a go-getter because I have a business. Well, you said deal breakers. Um, somebody that's, like, like to gossip, that likes to be on her phone all the time and doesn't know how to, like, you know, pay attention to what's in front of her. Um, I don't, like... I don't I don't prefer women to be like you know like dipsy ditzy and not aware you know what I'm saying stuff like that and she can't be like just like having a whole bunch of dudes all all the time like in her face and entertaining entertaining dudes and stuff like that if okay. she's talking to me and she's talking to you so now let me ask you this mark sometimes I know women that are open to dating bisexual men but a concern okay. is, would you cheat on them with the man? So do you think your desire for men is gone or you just want to, it's still there, but you want to focus on a woman? No, no, no. I'm not a cheater. Like, I don't, I don't, I mean, just because I'm bisexual, that don't mean I'm, I'd be like all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm dedicated to one person. So, you know, when I'm talking to a dude or something like that, I'm talking to that person, you know? So if it's a female, like, you know, I'm attracted to women. It just takes me a little bit longer to be, like emotionally attached to them you know what i'm saying it's more physical when it comes to guys so but i know that i wouldn't disrespect anybody by crossing the lines whether it was male or female by dealing with the same sex at the same time okay 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 all right this is mark in atlanta does the person gotta be in atlanta um she doesn't have to be in Atlanta. I would prefer her to be in Atlanta only because um, I'm saving right now for an investment property. So traveling and stuff like that is not really ideal. I don't want to be like flying back and forth and stuff like that. And I need, if I'm going to be dating a woman, I need her to be close to me so I can get that experience, you know, that one-on-one -on -one, hands-on experience. Okay. Does she got to make a certain amount of money? She don't have to make a certain amount of money, you know, just have a, a pretty much job, a career idea, you know, a pretty much hustler, go-getter that's going to help me with my business and I can help her with hers. Okay, you can help her with hers. What's the age range you want to date, Mark? Uh, I would probably say anywhere from 25 to, I'd say probably like my age, 36. 25 to 36. This is Mark in Atlanta. He's a bartender, a waiter, a photographer. He's a Libra. He'll date 25 to 36. Could the woman have kids already? I would prefer her not to have kids, but I'm not going to just shun somebody who has kids. Um, if you got one, that's cool. Um, I would say, though, like, no younger than five. No younger than five. And you want kids. You're adamant about that, correct? Yeah, most definitely. Okay. I want to and now, three. Do you want to get married one day? Yes. Now, one more question. I just got to ask all the questions. So okay. how do we know that you're into women because you ultimately want to procreate, but after you have your three kids, you won't leave her to go back to a guy? That's not my mentality. Um, I'm, like, very spiritual-led. Um, I believe that, you know, God placed me on this earth to get married, have a family, and, you know, just live right. It's just that, like, I'm a, I'm a, I came up here and I wanted to be honest, so I'm not going to act like, you know what I'm saying, like, I haven't been messing around with guys or anything like that. I just want to 
put that out there because I want to be able to be open with a female about that part of my life so that we can come to our understanding like this is m maybe not something that I want to do full time and you know like be get married have a life like follow God and shit like that okay and when was your last relationship again I would say um back in February okay and that was a male yes Okay, so when was the last time you was into intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. February. And that was a guy, though, correct? Yes. So you don't have to answer this question, but when was the last time you was with a female? Oh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, I, I can't, I don't even, like, I I don't even remember, like, honestly. I mean, like, I can't give you so a... So, Mark, let me I... just jump in. Is this a real, okay. Do you want a female because you feel as though religious wise, that's what you should desire? Or do you truly desire a woman right now? No, I truly desire a woman right now. Like I'm actually like in the process of practicing celibacy. So okay. I'm not trying to like get out here and just get with a woman because, you know, I feel like, oh, that's what, you know, is the right thing to do in the Bible. No, like I honestly feel like it hasn't been working out in relationships with same sex. So I'm tired. Like I'm, I'm tired of going through the same cycles. You know what I'm saying? I want to give myself an opportunity to really like explore the option of giving myself to a female. You know what I'm saying? Like and be in a relationship with a woman because I've had girlfriends before. You know what I mean? But it was just so long ago, and I got caught up with my, I guess, lust in a way that. I just did. And then I'm shy, too. When it comes to females, I'm really shy. You know what I'm saying? So I always put myself in a friend zone. And I think that's why I haven't had any serious relationships when it comes to dealing with women. Okay, fair enough. All right, Mark, why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm really funny. I'm down to earth. Um, I think, you know, I got a lot to offer. Um, you know, I, I just want somebody that can that I can build with, who can build with me. And I'm truthful. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm being straight up. I'm putting it all out there on the internet right now. And I'm loyal. You know, that's one thing about me. You can always count on me if I got something or if I you need help or something like that. And I can help you. I'm going to do what I can to help you. And I'm just a good guy. Yes, yeah, a good guy. Let's do it, Mark. Give them your Instagram name. Okay, so um, it's Restless One with a zero. Restless One. So it's R-E-S-T-L-E-S-S -S -S zero N-E. Got All right. it. All yeah. right. Well, Mark, I wish you the best. You keep me posted how it goes, baby. All right. Well, you befriended me, and I will So uh, on Instagram. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, baby. All right. Have a good night. All right, you guys, we're about to go to YouTube. The link is in my bio on Instagram, so make sure you guys follow it. I might, listen, I was testing out this week on how I want to do the show. And I like Monday nights and Wednesday nights. We get really, really high numbers. Um, so maybe this will be something we'll do consistently. We are back on IG on Friday night. We're back on Friday night for sure. There's no show this Saturday, but we are back on Friday night, and it will be a longer show, I believe. I believe. I don't think I'm going to do YouTube on Friday. At least I don't think so. But um, either way, I'll see your face on Friday night on Instagram, but I can see your face right now on YouTube. The link is in the bio. Make sure you guys uh, watch it. Um, and you'll be able to look, click on and see it. All right, okay. We got to go to YouTube. I'll see you guys over there. <laughs> Bye, everyone.